Hi, and welcome to Yoga with Tim. Welcome to today's Power Vinyasa class. So let's begin today's class in child's pose. For today's class, you might wanna have a couple of blocks, depending on your flexibility and mobility. But we're gonna start in child's pose with your knees close together, your big toes pointing back, rest your arms back by your side and let your head drop in. Take a moment here to connect to your breath. Feel your breath moving in through your nose to expand your rib cage and fill your lungs. And out through your nose. Then come up onto your hands and your knees. Place your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. As you exhale, round through your spine, look back towards your navel. Inhale, tip your sit bones up as you wheel your chest forward. Exhale to round. Inhale. One more time, exhale. Inhale. Then come into neutral. Stretch your right arm forward. And as you draw your navel up the front of your spine, stretch your left leg back. Lower your hand and your knee. Change sides. Lower down, change sides. Lower down, being mindful not to let the low back sink, change sides. And lower your hand and your knee. Then keeping this neutral spine, one leg at a time, step the legs back into plank pose. Not letting the spine sink or round. Holding there, bring your right knee up. Chain, left knee up, chain. Warming up the hips, but keeping the hips reaching out of the back as the knee comes up. Now as your knee comes up, start to flex your spine like we're doing cat-cow. and bring it towards the elbow. And release, stretch the leg back, lie down onto your belly. Inhale into Cobra Pose. Reach your pelvic roots, your pubic bone, and your tailbone back towards your ankles as you reach your heart forward. Roll your shoulder heads away from the floor and reach straight back through your inner elbows. Then stretch your arms forward, turn your thumbs up to decompress your spine. Bend your elbows back into cactus position. Turn on the backs of the shoulders, backs of the armpits. These muscles are gonna help once they're established to help with your posture so that your chest doesn't close. As you press down through the tops of your feet, lift the skin above your kneecaps up, draw the skin of your belly up towards your heart and try to lift those hands up higher. Then stretch your arms straight back, expand your chest, grow your legs, lower your chest down, keeping your spine in neutral, navel in, press straight up on the hands and knees, and stretch back into downward facing dog. So downward dog can be practiced with your knees bent to help to elongate the spine, but if you have good hamstring and hip flexibility, you can start to straighten the legs without sinking into your shoulders. Lift up on your inner arms as you push into your hands. Walk your feet forward to the front of your mat. As you inhale, slide your hands up your shins, come into a flat back. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up, raise your arms. 
Exhale, bring your arms down at your side. Mountain pose, Samastiti. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back into a plank. Hold in your plank, abs strong. Raise your right leg up an inch without your pelvis twisting. Change, raise your left leg. Firm your buttocks to your heel. Set that foot down, lower down onto your belly. Inhale into cobra position. Exhale, slide your arms forward, thumbs up. Inhale into cactus. Exhale, stretch your arms back. Inhale, hands next to your chest, heart forward. Exhale, lower your chest and press up into plank. Stretch back into downward dog. Breathe through your nose. Walk your feet forward to the front. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, mountain pose, Samastiti. Stand like your back's up against the wall. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back into plank. Optional chattering a push-up this time, keeping the core and the glutes engaged. Lie on your belly. Inhale into cobra pose. Grow your pelvis back as you reach your heart. Exhale, stretch your arms forward, thumbs up. Now this round, lift your legs up an inch, hugging your glutes down to your heels. Bend your elbows back into cactus. Hold here, neck long. Lift up from the hands and the wrists. Then stretch your arms straight back. Bring your hands back by your ribs. Lower your heart and your feet. Curl your toes, lift your knees, lift your belly. Push straight up without doing the worm. Downward facing dog. So you want to lift like a plank. Reconnect to your breath. And if it's too difficult to lift like a plank, just practice with your knees down, keeping the spine in neutral, not letting it sink or round. Walk your feet forward to the front. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, stand. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back to plank pose. Bring your right knee up to your right armpit. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, knee to your chest. Step your foot up by your thumb. Lower your back knee. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, your hands down. Curl your back toes, lift your back knee up. Push straight down through your heel. Put your right sit bone on a track with your right heel. As you inhale, lift your navel, stretch your arms. Exhale, left hand down, twist, take your right arm up. Inhale, lift up your heart as you stretch your back leg. Keep your right hip hugged in and your knee tracking with your right ankle. Bring your hand down and step into plank pose. Left knee to left armpit. Inhale, three-legged dog, stretch back, keeping your ribs in. Exhale, knee to chest, pull up. Step your foot up by your thumb. Lower your back knee. Inhale, raise your arms up. Press down through your right shin as you lift up the pelvis. Exhale, bring your hands down. Curl your back toes, lift your back knee. 
Press through the center of your left heel, left sit bone on a track with your heel. Lift up through your belly as you inhale, float your arms back. Exhale, set your right hand down and twist. Inhale, lift up through the line of your back ankle, your mountain pose line. Exhale, bring your hand down and step into plank. Take an optional chaturanga push-up or just stretch right back into downward dog. Look in between your hands, step or walk your feet all the way up to the front. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, sit back. Exhale, stand. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step into your plank. Right knee to right armpit. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, knee to chest. Step your foot up by your thumb. Ground your heel, track your sit bone. Then lift your belly. Come right up into crescent lunge. Bring your arms down at your side. Lean back out over your knee. Now, if you have a good mountain pose line, you can step from here right into warrior three. Or put a block underneath your fingertips and work on creating a flat back as you hug your armpits down, engage your lats, scoop from your navel up to your heart, level your hips and push straight back to your heel. Step back into crescent lunge, raise your arms up, bring hands to prayer and lean out over your knee. Twist, hook your left elbow onto your knee. As you twist, instead of hunk, hunk, hunkering, hunkering down, push down into your elbow, lift your heart up away from your thigh, back leg strong. Right hip crease moves back as your heart lifts up. Bring your hands down and step back into plank. Bring your left knee up to your armpit, pull up. Inhale, reach back, three-legged dog. Exhale the knee to your chest, pull up. Step your foot up by your thumb. Push through your heel, track your hip. Lift your belly, come up into crescent. Wrap your outer arms forward. Lift up through your side ribs, low back tall. Arms to your side, lean out over your knee. Step up to balance with your hands here or set your hands onto the block and practice engaging your lats, reaching your heart forward and leveling the hips. Practice finding your mountain pose line, whichever one you're doing, from your back ankle to your hips, to your shoulders, to your ears. One long line of energy, even if you have to bend the left knee a little. Then bend your left knee, slide back into crescent lunge, raise your arm. Bring hands to prayer, lean out and twist. Push down through the elbow, lift your heart. And as you lift your back thigh, grow through your crown out through the line of your back ankle instead of leaning over your left knee. Imagine I put my knee right at the bottom of your shoulder blades and you're doing a little baby backbend over my knee. Then put your hands down, step back into plank, do an optional chaturanga push-up, vinyasa, or just stretch right back into down dog. Then from downward facing dog, come back into plank pose. Set your left knee down for side plank. Left hand underneath your left shoulder. Open up. Hold here in the side plank or try stretching your left leg out behind your right.
Bring your right hand down, right knee down, open up. Hold, find your mountain pose line back against the wall feeling, or step your right leg out behind your left. Bring your hand back down, set your elbows down for forearm plank. Push through your elbows, turn your thumbs up, and as you press your forearms, lift your belly. Then walk into down dog on your forearms, keeping your collarbones broad without your upper back rounding. Hold here, challenge yourself, try raising one leg up. and the other. Lower that leg and walk into plank on your forearm. Lower into sphinx pose. Pubic bone down. Roll the back bend up through your middle back and upper back if it feels like it's sinking into your lower back. Then lower yourself down, stretch your arms forward, bend your right knee, and if possible, reach back and take a hold of your foot. Release, change sides. Stretch your buttocks out of your lower back so that the lumbar is lengthened instead of crunching into your discs. Then for healthy lower backs, catch both feet, or if it's too much on your knees or your back, just stretch the legs back and come into locus. Place your hands by your ribs, roll into upward facing dog pose, Stretch back, downward facing dog pose. Raise your right leg up behind you, inhale. Exhale, knee to chest. Bring your right leg up for a single leg pigeon and start to scoot your left knee back until you feel a stretch in your right outer hip. Hold here upright on your hands or if you need to start to go deeper, you could lower down onto a block or even bring your elbows right down onto the ground. But press down through your shin instead of sinking into your right hip, draw energy up through the center of your pelvis, up your spine. Now, if this feels like it's pulling into your right knee, instead of doing this one, just lie on your back and do a figure four stretch, ankle to knee pose. You shouldn't feel it at all painting in your outer knee. Instead, you wanna feel it just in your outer hip. Stretch back to down dog. Raise your left leg up, inhale. Exhale, bring your left knee up. Start to scoot your right knee back until you feel a stretch. Then upright yourself, inhale. Hold there or start to go forward. I like that too, it's really nice to go too. Then from here, sit over onto your left hip, bring your right leg around, and cross your right ankle on the outside of your knee. Now if you're tighter in your hips and your hamstrings, sit on a block to help you sit upright. Otherwise, you can sit flat. Wrap your left elbow around, hug your knee in, and first pull up through the crown of your head right up over your sit bones so that your spine is as tall as it can be. And then from your tall, elongated spine, then we'll start to twist. 
always in your twist, the length comes first, and then you can see how much the body can twist after that. Release that, change the cross, and hook your elbow around, find your length first, twist upright like a bottle cap unscrewing, go up as you're twisting. Release that, stretch your legs out in front of you. If you have lower back issues, bring your hands to your hips, sit upright, and just work on your upright seat or leaning forward slightly. If your lower back feels fine, you have open hamstrings, start to lengthen all the way out over your legs. Then lie down on your back for Shavasana. In Shavasana, final relaxation, meditation pose. Turn your palms up. Have your hands about a foot away from your body and your feet just slightly wider than hip distance. Let your feet fall open, your hands turn open. Give your body permission to completely let go. Relax your shoulders. Relax your abdomen and your chest. Feel your hips and your low back and all of your back muscles start to relax. Empty the tension in your jaw and in your tongue. Let the muscles of the face soften. Let the eyes release back. Smooth the skin on the forehead. Let go. And see if you can feel the sensation of your breath coming in through your nose. and out through your nose. When the thoughts start to come up, Acknowledge them without judgment and then just let them go. Keep returning to the movement of the breath. Then gently bend your knees. Taking a moment here with your feet down on the mat to notice how your body feels, to notice the shift in energy at the end of your practice. Roll over to your side and then press up to seated. Sit up tall with your palms together and with your eyes closed, notice the quality of your breath. Notice your current mental state. Notice how the body feels. Relaxed, calm, yet energized. And just be grateful for all the benefits that practicing yoga bring you, the shift in energy that you feel. Thank you. Namaste. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed the practice, 
take a moment, hit that like button, leave a comment below and let me know what you enjoyed about the video specifically, if there are a couple things. And lastly, take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications because that's a new thing that you have to do so that you won't miss any other future videos. Have a great day and I hope to see you soon again.